Hi, and thanks for choosing to watch this C-Logic video on finding data in Microsoft Dynamics CRM. In this video, I'm going to show you the quick and simple ways to find the data you require. Check out another C-Logic video on our YouTube channel that deals with using advanced find and creating personalized views. The first thing to do when finding data is to decide which entity you want to search on. So if I want to find a lead, I have to go to the leads entity. Once there, the obvious place to start is the search for records box. If I type the start of my lead name and hit the magnifying glass, the records are returned. This box is also a bit more advanced. In the administration area, the search view, as it is known, can be edited so you can search on other fields to find a record. Some default fields for each entity are included in the search view, so let's say I can't remember a lead's name, but I do remember the company he works for. I can clear the search, type in the company, and will, it will return the lead name associated with that company. This also works for topic under lead. You can also use an asterisk as a wildcard character to return search items that are part of the search string. So if I type in users, for example, I get no returns because it means it starts with users. But if I add an asterisk before users, it means the search string contains users and it finds a lead where the topic contains the search item. The searches in this box look up against all records irrespective of the view you are in. At the foot of the screen you can also filter by the starting letter of the lead name and then click all again to see everything. Be aware that this only filters on the records included in the leads view you are looking at. This leads view is the system or personal groups if you like that can be selected by dropping down the lead selection list. This lookup functionality is the same across all the entities. Here we are in opportunities and I can look up with the search field or using the filters. Notice that the hash sign in the filters area is the filter for opportunities starting with a number. I can also change my opportunities view using the drop down. Another lookup you'll come across is a lookup when populating fields in CRM. Here we are adding an opportunity and I need to look up the potential customer. I can start typing and I will be given suggestions or if I click the magnifying glass I'll be able to look up a specific record. The system will cleverly give you what it suggests you'll want to look up and within which view but you can change this. I can then type in my search criteria and click the lookup button. Once I've found the record I want, I can select it and click OK to enter the record into my field. Well, that pretty much covers it for finding data in Microsoft CRM. Remember to always check the help files if you have any problems, but in the meantime, thanks very much for watching this C-Logic video.